What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Big Cool, coming to you from Big Cool Entertainment. And today I'm here to talk about my favorite NFL team um, who have not been relevant for the last seven to eight years, and that is the Tennessee Titans. As you all know, um, early yesterday news broke that we had fired our head coach, Ken Wisenhunt. He was the head coach of the Arizona Cardinals. He led them to um, a Super Bowl appearance and almost pulled it off against um, the Pittsburgh Steelers back in 2008 where he used to be an offensive coordinate, coordinator um, and pretty much my thoughts are that you know it's a revolving door of head coaches ever since we left um, we lost you know Jeff Fisher you know we've had um, Mike Munchup you know there a couple of years then they fired him and we brought in Wizard Hunt who I thought was an excellent hire at the moment at the time um, Let's just be real. Tennessee is not a um, ideal destination for you know head coaches or you know you know yeah head coaches who you know want to be a head coach. I know it's a job, it's an NFL job, and you know Nashville is a nice place. You can raise your family there, but for whatever reason, we can't get the that that coach or you know that that coach that can you know lead us to where we need to be, or maybe it's just the owner and the GM hiring the wrong guy, you know. They don't want to budge off of maybe giving, you know, the potential head coach a little more power um, than normal. or Whatever it is, we, we we just can't get right. We've been in reverse for the last seven to eight years. I know uh, my favorite player, all-time favorite player, favorite quarterback, Steven there, rest in peace. We haven't been the same since we let him go. I remember we had uh, Eddie George, you know, and both of those guys are, you know, going to be up for consideration for um, the Hall of Fame this year. And we just can't get it right. We drafted Vince Young back in 06. I thought it was a terrific um, draft pick at the time, although, you know, we all knew that he needed work um, on his mechanics, you know, reading the defense. You know, he did some good things in his time um, in Tennessee, but, you know, off the field issues as well as injuries kind of derailed him and his mental psyche. You know, he wasn't, you know, really, really, really ready, excuse me, mentally to, um, you know, be, you know, be successful in the NFL for the long haul. Then we draft Jake Locker um, in 2010 um, out of Washington. Athletic can throw, you know, was a solid quarterback, but couldn't stay healthy, you know. And we didn't surround him with the offensive line uh, needed to protect him, offensive weapons. You know, we did have Chris Johnson at the time, who was a, a great, great addition he, in, in his time in Tennessee. Um, but Jake Locker retired this offseason. Um, and now we drafted Marcus Mariota out of Oregon, who won the uh, Heisman Trophy uh, two years ago. It was the second pick in this past year's draft. Um, he's shown promise. Um, he's been dinged up the last two weeks, missed the last two weeks because of a dirty play. Um, suffered uh, against Miami when they went low on his knee, and, and you know, he, he sprained his MCL. But I'm confident that he's the quarterback that we need um, to lead us to contention, you know, not just division, but just playoffs, Super Bowl eventually. But we're going to have to surround him with a better offensive line, a better running back, some better receivers, and, you know, get him a, a, a coach who, you know, will be able to make adjustments to him and, and who was able to coach the guys up. We can't keep having this revolving door of, you know, you know, giving coaches two two years, two or three years, and and you know losing patience. We need to you know draft accordingly, you know, um, market ourselves well, you know, just get a different atmosphere in you know in Tennessee, and hopefully we can turn it around. I mean, I'm a diehard Tennessee fan until until I die, but it's frustrating year after year to see everybody else's teams. You know, constantly competing for playoff spots, um, Super Bowls, and, and and being mentioned in terms of being re you know relevant. We are we are irrelevant, man, and we, we seem to can't get it right. And I hope that we can change that. Um, you know, this off season, you know, we we won the six. Obviously, we're not gonna make the playoffs, but if we can get Mariota um back healthy, you know, and finish the season out strong, we can go into the off season. Um, with the game plan, get a, a a great head coach, whether it's young, old, college, whatever, somebody that that has a strong command of his players, but also you know um, player friendly, can coach you know his his players up and get every ounce of talent and motivation 
um, out of each and every player on the roster. And hopefully we can have a successful um, 2016 season. But those are just my thoughts. I don't believe that Ken um, Wizard had a fair shake. I mean, he's a terrific offensive mind. Maybe he's not meant to be a head coach. But, you know, you didn't give him a fair shake um, in Tennessee. And, you know, he's kind of the scapegoat. You know, when you don't surround your uh, your quarterback with um, a quality running back, you know, quality receivers, quality offensive linemen, then you're going to see a 1-6 record, you know, for the most part. I mean, our defense has been, you know, solid uh, with Morgan and, and Jarrell Casey and, and uh, McCarthy, you know, but – and Griffin, but we just can't get, you know, seem to get it right on the um, offensive end. So hopefully, you know, we make the proper, um, you know, adjustments, hire the right guy. They draft the right guys. We develop them, give them a chance. And hopefully our, um, you know, franchise start to take, you know, a, a turn for the best um, in the upcoming, you know, years. But leave your thoughts um, in the comment section below. Uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Um, until next time, I'm out. Peace.